Hello and welcome to the garden in July. A year ago I filmed and then eventually published a video of what the garden was looking like in July 2021. I've since filmed a few updates and I'm very bad at posting them, but I figure I'll continue filming them for posterity uh, because it's a good way to show how the garden has changed and is changing over the years. Seeing as it is July, all the wildflowers have literally gone to seed. I've pulled some of them out. I've been trying to keep as much wildflower seeds as possible. These ones that were planted a little bit later and in a little bit shadier part of the garden, some of these bachelor's buttons, they're still kind of kicking around, but for the most part, everything's done. Doesn't look too great. Um, the rest of the yard is pretty dry as per usual. The aeoniums are starting to go dormant again. And um, I've made a lot of changes in the front here. I found these two agave blue flames on the side of the road. I've finally planted them in. This one has taken root. It's doing really well. It's turning blue again. It was very wrinkled up, but obviously um, it has rooted because the leaves have started to fill in. It's turning a bit more blue again. This one that's on the other side of the driveway, it hasn't quite rooted yet. You can see the leaves are real wrinkly and it's a little bit more yellow. I think it'll be fine. It's just, uh, I waited a little bit longer to plant that one in um, and it was a bit more hot and dry. And um, you see you got a little bit of sun damage. Um, these things are so resilient though. It'll come back to life, it'll be fine. Here's another little funny patch of wildflowers um, over here on the side of the road. All the nasturtiums um, have died back and been pulled out. Um, in putting in these agaves, I changed up the arrangement here. Um, I have a bit of a, I have some more ginger I wanna take out of there and move some aloes in their place. Still, to this day, my dry river bed is not here yet. You can see it's waiting to be here. But I have a lot of plants um, that I have plans for and I just haven't put them in. Putting plants in in July is not always a great idea. It's pretty hot, pretty direct sunlight. I did have a lot of pieces of rock purslane um, that I thought this would be a good spot for it. It doesn't look too good. Not all of it has survived, but some I do think will be okay. And I've moved the irrigation pipes there. There's some aloes that I found from a neighbor again. A lot of sun damage when we get a little bit of a heat wave, but I think they'll be okay. Interestingly, here's another one that was put in around the same time. And the fact that it's going green in the middle means it has rooted in. There's some other aloes that were there before. My little aloe um, blue elves. There's two of them there. They're starting to look kind of like they're fitting in. This is a really weird euphorbia that I got in the clearance bin. I moved it there, um, giving it a little bit more pride of place. It got a little bit cooked by the heat wave, but down below it's green. So I think it'll come back. A lot of these plants will look so different in the spring and the winter. Moving up, you'll see it looks so different with all those nasturtiums out. Uh, it looks a little bit bare. Um, the rock purslane. It's the afternoon, so the flowers have closed up, but they have these most striking magenta flowers. They're almost um, getting a little bit overgrown, but I do like the look, at least it fills it in. I have a little uh, succulent tapestry that has gone dormant. They're getting a little bit, it's, here you go, it's interesting. These ones are more dry, direct sunlight, hidden under here, same plants, not so dry. So I think once everything, I might have to adjust some irrigation to get those too. I am planning on changing some stuff up here. I think these aloes I'm gonna remove and put them in this empty spot here once I remove that ginger. And I have a little torch um, 
torch flower I'm gonna put in here and just kind of make this a little bit more architectural. My um, Euphorbia Spurges died. That one's hanging on for dear life. Um, it got this really bad scale mealy bugs. Just not happy. But interestingly, these aloes, as you can see, by their blooms, favorite of the hummingbirds. It's got a lot of little pups under here. So that one's pretty happy. Um, the Aeonium kiwis have exploded, but they're thirsty. They're going dormant. My pride of Madeira, I chopped it way back. Almost probably too much. Um, there's only one little bit of growth, and we have to rethink that if we want to keep that in there. Um, but this, um, this blue agave Americana, it's obviously happy because it is throwing out pups like crazy. And I don't want that to get overtaken. So one of my jobs today is to pull out all those pups. Um, I think I'm going to move them over to that area of the yard or just give them away. Uh, because that's what we should do, right? I've got a lot of stuff that I need to really think about this. This is my yucca. It hasn't flowered, which is a little bit, I'm not really sure why that hasn't flowered yet. I want to plant this cactus. I just need to rethink this whole spot. Over here, this was all green and lush. It's pretty dead looking now. I did plant, I moved this rock purslane from another part of the yard. It was so miserable. It's looking kind of coming back to life. But again, this I've kind of ignored this part of the yard. And my little agave attenuata uh, rehab over here. And then here's where I've been, you know, cultivating a bunch of crassulas and my ionians. Here is a, a dumping ground. We redid a part of the back and uh, this is where my husband has decided to put all the waste. So these are the California gold rocks. I want to re kind of wash them off and put them back at the front um, as one of my projects. I'm not sure if this is new since the last video I did. I did another little move some rocks here to the front, did a little succulent tapestry. Um, it's not doing too bad. It got a bit sunburned. Um, and then we had a bunch of gopher issues here, but so this before was all just nasturtiums. And now that it's empty, I can kind of start to rethink it. And then this is a trumpet vine. I'm kind of putting it up the tree, careful not to get it to overpower the tree, which is the fine line we have to tread. And uh, here's the few rocks we have left and then some more plants that I received for free that now that's my project today is to finally get these in the yard because I put them out here to do it and there's a lot of aeonians they're just sitting here going dormant and getting cooked some senecio I got some more I believe they're aloe cameronii they're from my mom they're the same from the same bunch that I don't know if you can see that one there um, but I'm gonna Put those in. Not a whole lot has changed elsewhere so I won't go through it too much. We'll make this one like kind of a quick video. We're just tidying up this corner under the Kenchia palm which doesn't look super happy but I think it's still just getting used to being there. And then this side of the yard. I don't think any of this was planted in here a year ago but obviously they were here in the last video. And uh, It is. So there's some ignored places. My little crass little corner here. And then my um, other little succulent tapestry. These uh, Aeonium Kiwis starting to go a little dormant. And I've had to reset this area a few times. Um, I found a nice gopher hole living under this little succulent log. The uh, ice plant, which again, I'm not normally a fan of, but I'll let it slide here. I'm just gonna, I'm just trying to make this look a little bit more put together. So one of my thoughts here is once we remove this, I'm gonna 
you know, put this all together, get my DG, hopefully in the next video. This will be a little bit more complete with my DG path coming here. And then I'm actually gonna plant this up. Um, I'm not gonna leave this all as one big open space because might as well take advantage of all the space that we've got. And that's it. So my fantasy is to get a little bit of a bench here and maybe a little um, water feature for birds. So it's a little bit of a short and sweet update this time, but that's the garden in July. Thanks so much for joining. And don't forget to also check out previous videos of what the garden looks like so you can see how it changes over time.